Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's a makeup tutorial. Um, I was going to actually do a voiceover, but I'm trying to test out this new mic. And the reason I was going to do a voiceover is because I'm, I'm in the funk right now. <laughs> and I'm just so exhausted, I'm stressed, I'm upset, I'm irritated, I'm everything right now. And no, I'm not about to start my period. There's just a couple things going on. Um, so if I'm not very, woohoo, you know, I mean, I'm not like that in all my videos, but you know, if I'm not very, you know, up there, it's because of that. So the reason I wanted to do something different because I feel like all of my makeup looks are exactly the same, but today I'm going to keep most of the eye look, you know, kind of like neutral as always. But this time I want to do like a pop of color. So I finally got the Maybelline New York Master Precise Ink and this is in the shade Cosmic Purple. I really have been wanting to try these eyeliners because I see them everywhere and I'm just like, okay, let me try it. But then I swatched it on my hand and it was extremely watery and I'm kind of scared because you kind of don't want something that's very watery but then at the same time you don't want something that's very like thick and dry kind of want something in between but I just feel like this is just a bit too watery so um yeah let's just go ahead and get started I'm putting on my Vaseline chapstick and if you hear all of that in the background that is my dog um, he's in the crate and there will be lots of breaking in the video because I am crate training him and he's probably gonna start crying I'm going to take my Too Faced hangover primer and I'm gonna put that where I get the driest which right now I'm gonna put like right here and on my cheeks and like right here not so much on my forehead because i do have like combination skin i'm gonna put a bit of that on my eyelids i hope that doesn't irritate my <laughs> my eyes and i'm going to use the nyx angel veil primer i need to buy more primers guys like i need to step on my game So I think I'm actually going to do the eyes first just in case I mess up and I could just quickly wipe it off without ruining my foundation or anything like that. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in shade medium and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to just blend that out. And I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in caramel toffee and I'm going to use the yellow shade with this Morphe E48 and I'm just going to set my eyes I was going to use just like the Jaclyn Hill palette but I feel like everybody uses that nowadays I'm going to take the Carly by Bell deluxe palette and I'm gonna use a couple of those because she does have like a few purplies and purplies purplies purples <laughs> Um, with a couple of like transition shades and everything. I'm going to take this shade right here and put that like in my crease or to use it as a transition-y shade. I probably could just use this so that not two of them are in there. And I'm going to start just blending that into my crease slowly. So just packing it on, mostly on the outer corner, and sweeping it in and blending out. You see? It's it's not much because this is very like almost my skin color. It's just adding a bit of definition or transition shade to start off with. And now I'm going to take a mixture of this little light purple and this brownie, like almost like orangey brown. I'm gonna take a mixture, I'm sorry, you can see my gum. I'm going to start putting that on the outer corner to just darken it up. Now that I just went ahead and darkened it up a little bit, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper and I'm going to just comb that through my eyebrows. Yes, I know, I need to get my eyebrows did, guys. But for now, we're just gonna do with this. So I'm going to take the purpley one and start to put that mostly, like put it on the side and start to mostly put that on the outside right here to make it more purpley. 
I swear, like, on camera, it never looks like how it's supposed to. Tell me how you think of that right there, so. Okay, so just keep putting more and more. Like, you can tell a little bit that it's darker. <laughs> Oh guys, I appreciate you working with me. So now I'm gonna take this very detailed brush and this is the Morphe M506. And I'm going to take this dark shade right here, right here. And I'm going to start building that up in my crease, but I'm gonna put it mostly on the outside and just drag it in this way. So the next thing we're gonna do is put the eyeliner on. So now for this, I am gonna have my mirror here. And I don't know if I wanna put this on camera because I'm not the best. But let's just try, guys. This is what I got. <laughs> I know my eyeliner is all wonky, I'm sorry. But anyways, that took me forever. I do not recommend this product, it's not great. So now I'm gonna go back into that dark, dark shade in the palette on that Morphe M506 and now I'm going to I'm gonna baseboard now I'm going to really start to darken right here not like the entire crease but like almost like cutting the crease with this dark shade but very little just darken it up right here and bringing it in just a tad And now just go back into your first sh brush and just start to blend everything out. And that's basically it. That's my pop of color. So now I'm going to just finish filling in my eyebrows and I'm going to just take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow definer in ebony. So now I'm going to do the rest of my face and I know I'm wearing a sweater and just have my hair in a bun. But you know guys, I'm just here at home. And I'm probably just gonna hang out and do nothing. But I'm going to take my e.l.f. Flawless foundation, I believe that's what it's called. And this is in the shade Caramel. I realized that the other one was way too light, like in my Charming Charlie haul. I have this huge white cast and that's most likely because this does has FPF. And also because that shade just was not for me. So. I got a darker color. I'm going to take three pumps of caramel and about maybe like half or one of the buff shade and I'm going to take a drop of my yellow mixture just so that maybe can help with the white cast. take my Contrice High Coverage Concealer. This is in shade light beige, which I think this is just too light for me. I mean, oh lord, that's really light, yeah. So I'm gonna put that more up here. And I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. And I'm gonna put that like down here. I really do need all of that color into my face and so I'm just gonna blend all of that out I do think it's a tad bit too dark or maybe it's just too gray maybe I need a little bit more yellow And I'm going to take my LA girl uh, banana powder and I'm going to use my beauty blender to stamp that in and you see it kind of takes away that white cast like how white it made our under eyes and it kind of almost darkened it in a bit and just tap that in on the sides right here everywhere where I put the concealer mostly as I'm gonna put it the main place the nose I need to really like stamp this in or put like two layers of powder because that's where I get the oily the most I'm gonna take the contour powder from there and I'm gonna use that same brush that I was using and I'm going to bronze a little bit because we're already really bronze and 
I have learned that since I have a round face, I need to like bring the contour like on my temples so I can make my face longer instead of like, like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the corner of my face. And I'm gonna take a bit of that and just put a little bit on my nose to kind of, not contour, but, cause I don't really like contouring my nose. I just feel like whatever about my nose. And I'm going to take this orangey pink blush from Essence and this is in the shade Heat Wave. And I'm actually going to take my Luxie brush and dip it in. It kind of goes from like an orange to a pink. Ooh, I'm scared, I've never tried this before. So. I think this one is just a bit too much for me and I don't think it really goes with the eye look. So, I, I usually feel like all blushes go with every eye look, but I don't feel like this one goes with the eye look because it's very purple. And this is like orange and I don't think the purple goes with the orange. I've never tried any of the highlighter shades in this palette, so today we are going to do that. The highlighter shades I'm going to use are a mixture of this goldy one and this like more brownie one. But mostly the brownie one, so let's see. Oh wow, it's really pretty. Extremely pigmented, oh my gosh. Really blend that. And I'm gonna take this um, ColourPop pencil brush and I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm going to put that on my nose. So now I'm going to take my MAC, my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just gonna wet my face. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this white on top, like right in the center. Just very little because this is very bright. So just right here, just on the top. <gasps> oh, guys, it's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Morphe E18. I'm gonna go into that first transition -y shade that we use. And I'm going to put that all underneath my lower lash line. And I'm gonna take the E36 and I'm gonna take the purple and the, or the orange and the brown. And I'm gonna put that right here on the outer corner. Now I'm going to take an even smaller blush. I'm gonna take the Morphe M515. And I'm gonna take that dark shade right there. And I'm gonna put that very close to the lash line. And since I have lots of browns, I'm just gonna take a brown eyeliner. And I'm going to take the ColourPop Mr. Bing eyeliner. And I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. And I'm just gonna go back into that highlighting shade that we use for our brow bone. And I'm gonna use that for the inner corner to highlight it. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Tardis mascara, but I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sass mascara. <gasps> Too Faced and Tarte together? <laughs> but I'm gonna take a bit of that one and add it because this one gives my lashes a bit of fullness. Like you see, you can already tell. I just giving it a bit of something, something. So my camera cut off after I put the highlight on my lip right here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit like right here on my sheen. Like I kind of really like the whole highlighty look right now. Like I'm really living for this look right now, guys. You honestly really can't tell the purple eyeliner because it's not that bright and everything. So. And guys, you all need to tell me, like, what's a good way to, like, pose for the camera? Um, so anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I do feel a bit better. Um, I'm not 100%, but I did have fun doing this, and I hope you enjoyed this look. I am trying to incorporate more colors. I know this is still a very basic eye look, but I honestly don't hate it. <laughs> um, these are the kind of eye looks I do all the time. So I want to do stuff that I personally do and I want to get, I want to, I feel
feel like people get on to other people because they're doing the same look, but at the same time, I appreciate when they kind of do the same looks or something with different palettes, give you different choices to do with an eye look. So, I mean, I really don't mind. So, you just tell me like what kind of eye looks or what other palettes you want me to use, what foundations you want me to try out. I never really know what to pick up from the store when I'm out. So, you guys let me know what you want to see. Definitely, definitely tell me. I appreciate all the sweet comments, but also tell me what you want me to see. You know, I'm trying to show you stuff like that you like as well as stuff that I like. So anyways, I'm done talking. I'm going to go outside and see how this color works for me. And yeah, that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. At least I don't look like gray or like really, really yellow. I actually look like a decent human being. You know what gets in my head sometimes, guys? Jacket, 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 jacket. It really gets in my head sometimes. And that's not even my name. I'm sorry. And this is in the shade. Like, I mean, I'm not saying it's super dark, but I mean, I guess it looks the same. <laughs> Thanks for burping in my face, Daisy.